Ladies and gentlemen, now that you've seen the basics of the law of conservation of energy, we're going to use it to solve a problem. We know that the mechanical, total mechanical energy is the combination of all of the energies um, that are both kinetic energies and potential energies. And from the last video, you saw the progression between this series of equations. They're all saying the same thing. They just are saying it um, with different levels of specificity. Let's look, though, at how we can solve a problem using um, this idea. The thing to keep in mind is that the, even though the total mechanical energy of a system stays constant, it changes around between these different categories that are added up on the right side of the equation. So watch as the ball goes up the ramp. And as it goes up the ramp, um, it gets faster, then it stops, and it certainly is higher in the gravitational field. The skier, on the other hand, begins high in the gravitational field, speeds up, and um, goes down the hill and ends up lower in the gravitational field. So those are the things we keep track of um, whenever we, we work on a problem. So um, as we look at this list of possible types of energy that could make up the starting mechanical energy of this ball, um, we're going to um, evaluate which ones matter to us. Um, in order for the ball to start up the hill, it has to have a velocity. So even though it doesn't appear to have it here, um, there'll be a force or something applied to it so that it has um, an initial velocity whenever we start the problem. Um, we're going to assume, though, that there's going to be no dissipated energy. And when you're presented with a problem, you'll be told um, whether or not there's dissipated energy to deal with. And um, the next energy that we can eliminate immediately is um, elastic energy because there's no spring, there's nothing stretching or squishing. So on this problem, we um, can do a full analysis of the energy conversions by paying attention only to kinetic energy and gravitational potential energy. So let's do that. If we watch this as it moves up from the base um, halfway and then to its final position, um, we first have to recognize the mechanical energy at all of those three places is exactly the same. It starts out as all kinetic energy as it begins to move, but the position is um, in the, hor the horizontal direction is zero. Um, all of its energy is, is, is at, as kinetic energy. When it's halfway up, it's moved up so there's an h value. It's got a height now, um, but it's slowed down. So it has less kinetic energy and more gravitational potential energy. And once it gets to its final position um, on the, the slope, um, it stops, so there's no kinetic energy, but it's achieved um, a relatively high um, position in the gravitational field. So E grav is um, at its full amount. So as we look through these, remember that what we're, we're paying attention to is the total mechanical energy at each, each location. Um, so here we see that mechanical energy um, and at the initial position is going to be equal to the mechanical energy halfway up, and that will be equal to the mechanical energy in the final position. It will simply change the kinds of energy that the mechanical energy is made up of. So if we go the next level and we, we replace the mechanical energy with the types of energies that are involved, um, we have a starting kinetic energy, and um, in the middle we have kinetic energy and gravitational potential energy, and at the end only gravitational energy. Um, one of the things that, that you'll notice when we do these problems is that we don't have three locations that we have to evaluate. We just have two that we're, we're comparing. So we're going to drop out this middle stuff um, that's halfway through the center, and just recognize um, that we have a starting and an ending and ultimately, the way this problem is set up, the initial kinetic energy of the ball is equal to the gravitational potential energy of the ball once it reaches its highest point. So that's the big learning goal um, about um, this video, to recognize that total mechanical energy remains the same and that you can manipulate and come to understand how um, we can evaluate each of the types of energy at each location and then develop an equation that you can solve. Good luck.